In this video, we'll show how to install Docker for you on your desktop or on your laptop. So if you go to the docker.com website and go into products, we want Docker desktop. And under that, that we get to download the version of Docker that we want to use. So uh, it's free to use. So you know, whether you're using uh, a Mac, Apple, Silicon, Intel chip, or in this case, I'm using a Windows machine, so I'm going to download Docker for Windows. So it'll just take a few seconds to download. When it's downloaded, we can run the installation file that has been downloaded. We'll do some system checks. And we'll go along and perform the install. So we can use Docker to create some containers that will uh, store um, different pieces of software, like different databases or different websites or different uh, packages. The version that you see installed in here might be different by the time you're installing it because well, things are always being updated. So uh, new features being added in, improvements being made and so forth. So that installation um, took about four minutes on my machine. So the video is a bit shorter than that. So I just paused it during some of that. Once it's done, then, you know, we have it installed. Okay. And then, you know, we can uh, bring it up on the menu. Uh, so we have Docker desktop, so we can open it. And once it's open and running, then we can actually install other Docker containers. So we just wait for that to open. So it's usually a good idea to create an account. You don't get any spam around to that. So I have an account already. So you'll just need to go and create an account. Um, okay. And then you can go, you know, who are you? What are you trying to do? So. We can do some AI machine learning, data science, deployment. They're just trying to get some basic information. So here we are within Docker. Okay. And then I'm logged into my particular account. Okay. It's a free account. So we, we don't actually have to do um, anything to elaborate on it. So in another video, I'll show you how to uh, install an Oracle database and a Postgres database.